Welcome back to another episode of the Bridgewater Triangle Paranormal Investigators. Tonight we are back here again at the Peter Oliver House, teaming up with New England Haunted Adventures and also Bob from the group Tempest, the Eastern Massachusetts Paranormal Investigative Services Team. Okay, my name is Liz Ginsberg. Um, I've actually been a volunteer here for only a year, not even a year. The house was finished um, construction in 1769. And it was a gift, it was actually a wedding gift from Judge Peter Oliver to his son, Dr. Peter Oliver Jr. Um, and his wife, Sally Hutchinson. They actually lived here for, I think, five years. And then before they were moved, they, they were driven out by the Sons of Liberty. Um, but then after they were driven out by the Sons of Liberty, the house actually sat abandoned till the I want to see the late 1700s, early 1800s, and that's when the Sprout family moved in. And Bethania Sprout was born here. She lived here her whole life, and she actually passed away here, and she lost three children. So the story is basically is where she, Bethania was cooking on the stove, boiling water. She took the water off the stove. She put it right here. Uh, baby Abigail grabbed the pot. And it scolded her over 70% of her body. Oh yes. Yeah. So what they did, so they didn't have ambulances, obviously, back then. So what they did was they took her, they swooped her up, and they took her up the servant stairs, that are right behind you. And they took her to a room where they tried to make her comfortable, and she actually passed away about oh, two, two, three days after. So Abigail is, is here, and also her brother, James. James was five years old when he passed away, but yes, their son, James, actually passed away in one of the rooms upstairs as well from pneumonia. And you can hear them play, you can hear their little footsteps. Actually, my husband, who comes here with me a lot, has heard the little pitter-patter of their footsteps all the time. And they love candy. We've always left out a little, little bowl of Jolly Ranches, and they, we get a lot of activity and cookies. But this is where they had the dinner parties a lot. Um, Abigail Adams, John Quincy Adams were frequent visitors here for the Olivers. Um, I know that there was, I don't know too much more information on who else visited, who else famous visited here except for Ben Franklin. Yeah, from what I read, Ben came here for um, a period of three days to try to get, the, get them to switch sides. Yes, yes. And then ended up, I guess, one of the servants or the somebody with letters. Yes. I'll yes. show you the closet where she she found the letters that the Olivers wrote. Yes. From what I read, he got the letters from the servant, turned them to the Sons of Liberty, yep. who promised them, Ben that they wouldn't do anything with them, mm -hmm. but instead went to Faneuil Hall and read the, the letters letter on, on the steps. You got it. Oh, wow. Sadly. Yep. So the, they were basically like banished from society. This is the Ben Franklin room. This is what we call the Ben Franklin room. Oh, this is the men's parlor. This is where the men came and conducted business, which is pretty cool because women were not allowed in this room, and it's awesome when we do investigations here. Women, us women, can come in here, and we usually, you know, we don't, we don't disrespect them, but we taunt them a little bit. Uh, that picture, actually, this this picture right here, that's Judge Peter Oliver and um, his two brothers, Andrew and Daniel. And that picture, that painting actually behind you guys right beautiful. here, Actually. that's original to the house. That's Andrew Oliver. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. It's just, I don't know if it's just me. It's, it's just weird. Yeah, I have a weird feeling up here. Abigail passed Ooh, away. So they brought her up the stairs from the kitchen that we were in, right up here. Oh. Yep. And into this room? And into that room where she, she passed away. That was where she died. So this is the most active room of the house. This is the children's room. And this, this is awesome. I love this room. This is where everybody really comes and stays when they do investigations. Right. I mean, there's been a lot of, of crazy stuff that happens. This is the closet where they found the letters. Now, this closet is something else. Now, the letters were tucked. Now, they were short back then. So I believe that the letters were tucked right back 
here. And one of the servants, it, it, they were, I guess they were folding clothes or something, and they were putting the clothes up here, mm -hmm. and ultimately found those letters and gave them to Ben Franklin. Wow. And that was the demise oh. of the Olivers. Right. This wallpaper is original to the house. Wow. Wow. This isn't just any kind of wallpaper though. This is all hand painted. Every little flower, a little clover you see, is different. And this was Earl's room as well. So big man uh. presence in this room. But Earl, Earl Sprout was a womanizer. So I'm just gonna love all you women here. So <laughs> just saying. Actually, as you said that, it was like a chill coming over here. A big cold spot. Oh boy, welcome to the all of us. <laughs> 1769 when the house was constructed that that was under like 14 layers of wallpaper and we, we actually wow. they found it it's pretty yeah, cool it's probably about one o'clock setting everything up this tablecloth was just like this it looked just like this and it we actually my husband was coming in here I was turned this way and the tablecloth fell down the waiver fell down the pen fell down is that why the jug's that? on it that's why we put the jug on it oh wow yeah. oh, right. so we got so, so there was the first picture of nothing okay okay Oh, it's a shadow right there. Yep. And you just happened to snap that? I just snapped it with my this, this phone. I nope. took two two pictures with my flash. Boom, boom. And no one else was here. Nobody. Well, there was people in the house, but not in, but that not in the not in the old wow. kitchen. Not. Got a nice collection of books. You ever read any of them? You drinking your scotch? Yeah, he was. Read the book? He was drinking. We are looking. Are we gonna take a look at the Sat right here. And wrote with these feathers. Point to Seneca. Where's Seneca? Mm -hmm. Where's Nicole? Show me where Nicole is. I brought a woman into your room. Where's Nicole? Show me. Show me. Oh, you're just focused on Seneca. Maybe because he's Native American. Native American. Did I bring a Native American man into your home? <laughs> All right. Show me what yes is. Show me what your yes is. Thank you. Show me what your no is. Show me your no. Thank you. Were you loyal to the crown? Were you loyal to King George? Yes. Are you upset there's a bunch of Bostonians in your home? Yes. Were you afraid of the Sons of Liberty? 
Yes. Are you upset that there's a woman in this room? We're going to be chilling in this room all night. Mm -hmm. We even wear pants. Oh, we got pants on. <laughs> so the Sons of Liberty intercepted your mail, your letters, and read them on the steps of Faneuil Hall. Were you pissed? Were you upset? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. I would have met you. Are you are you British? Yes. I have a message for you. I intercepted your message as well. Would you like to hear it? Do you want to hear your new message from the Crown? All right. They must remain loyal to the Crown. But you can't remain loyal to the Crown. We're here now. And we're not leaving. Must remain loyal to King George. The Americans destroyed him. You must remain loyal to the Crown and King George. How do you feel about that? You're still getting messages from the Crown. We are free colony. Whoa. Oh. We are a free colony. Oh, you do not like that. Whoa. And the meter is fluctuating like crazy, too. Really? We are f a free people. We do not pay taxes to the British. The British come to us for help. I feel with it. Guys, this is like... Oh, wow. I've never seen it like do this before. <laughs> nope. Nope. Not a happy candle. We are a free colony. We drink coffee and not tea. <laughs> Women do men's jobs. How do you like that? Yeah. No, you don't like that, do you? And what we do, we do it even wow. better. I'm like trying to hold this away from my face. Yeah. Cause we can do anything we can do. Women own businesses now. The husbands listen to the wives. They didn't like us, but they didn't like the Native Americans more. We can decide who runs our government. No women more monarchs. Women are businesses. Women are single parents. Show me where Bob is. Bob just came in the room. Where's Bob? Show me where he is. Show me where he is. Where's Bob? Yep, he's right there. And he's leaving the room. Yeah, you followed him right up. Do we have safe passage from the British here? No? Is it a no? What's that a no? Is it because Jen pissed you off? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble me, Jen. Okay, giving you back to Jen now. Just remember, push her down the stairs. I already have it. Yeah, push me, go. please. Do something. All right. Show me your yes again. Show me your yes. Thank you. Show me your no. Show me your no. Thank you. Thank you. Did I piss you off? Did I piss you off? Yeah. I'm not sorry, though. I'm not sorry. You were loyal to the crown. You should have been loyal to us. Yes. Do you realize now you should have been loyal to the colonies? No. You're still loyal to the crown, huh, sir? So this might have been her high chair. tragedy. The kettle filled with boiling hot water falling on her.
I don't know if that was the pot. So we're going to set up the rubber pot where she had her accident. Grid is setting up. Can you play with your doll? You do realize we have no more pain now. You're in a better place. We'll be able to hear what you want to say for this device. You can say anything. Can you tell me how old you are? It sounded like a she said, what? It sounded like a, uh, a boy, though. Yeah, yeah. But that little boy James did die as well. It's a game. It's a game. James, are you in here? Yeah. 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 James, can you walk in front of that doll or anyone? Can you can you walk in front of that doll? I say she's just gone. Are you with your sister on the other side?
Are you Abby? Are you Abby? Hi, Abby. So that's a yes. Go straight, please. Go straight, please. Come on. We want to talk to you. We want to play with you. We want to play with you. Come on. Okay. Did you die in this room, Abby? Yes. Are there other spirits here with you? Yes. Is it your brother? Is your brother here with you? Do you remember what happened to you? Do you remember? Do you remember what happened to you? Yeah. Do you miss your family? Yeah. I'm so sorry, honey. I'm so sorry. Are you here alone? Are you still in pain from what happened? No. All right, that's good. Are the other spirits nice to you? Yeah, good. Are there other children for you to play with here? And that was like a hard yes. Do you like having all these visitors here at your home? She's thinking quick. Yeah, I saw it was from the tap. There we go. She likes it. Can you point to where you're at? It's one big cold spot in that chair right there. Where are you right now? Where are you right now? Yeah, and this the one on the left is moving down too. This ain't kind of cold. Okay. Do you want me to sing you a song? Yeah, I feel like that was a hard no, and I understand. Well, who do you like in here? Point to someone you like. Dom, will you play games with the ghost child? Yeah. He'll play with you. Are you happy? Does that make you happy? Dom said he'll play with you. All right, Dom's going to play with you, okay? I don't leave you alone, all right? Dom's going to play. I don't know. Patty cake or something, man? I don't know what you got. Dom is going to play with you. Can you touch that pretty blue device right there? Or just take the bear and throw it yeah, across the take room. the bear. Can you move the bear? What if you gave the rods to him and had him ask him to give me a hug for that? <laughs> no way, dude. Wow. Okay, Dom, start talking. Um, give Dominic a hug. Yeah. Give him a hug. Make sure you get those nice and level. She's here with us. Either give Dom a hug or set that thing off again. So I just turned on my necrophonic spirit box. See if that does anything. Do you like that Dom is here? Do you like that he's here? He said he'd play with you. Come on, give him a hug. He's lonely. Brother. <laughs> Does Dom remind you of your brother? They're so cold right now. Are they? They're wicked cold. Yeah. Bro. 
So we have Bob here. Bob, uh, what's the name of your group again? Tempest. And he's a paranormal investigator as well. Do you play with the, the blocks? Two degrees in here. 828 children's room, all of the house. Do you feel more comfortable with the lights out? There's a lot of pretty green dots you can play with. So the temperature dropped another four degrees? Yeah. It was 70 when I first came in here. We're down to 65.6 now. 65.5. It's a good sign. It's a good sign. It's awesome. That's a pretty painting on the wall. I like the painting. Do you like it? Five sucks. Too on Google that somebody was giving a tour and when they opened up this closet a shadow figure jumped out in front of them. It's a pretty dress. Make that light up, pretty colors. Yeah, I got nice. green, yeah, amber, yeah. blue, and purple. It's a very color. Can you make it light up green? Maybe amber? Wait. What about blue? If you touch it, it'll light up purple. Purple's a pretty color. Yeah. Is it go near that or touch that? Is it coming with you? Well, maybe it's high and you want to lie down on the bed. 77 degrees. What? Can you tell us the names of these people in the painting? You lay down, you're getting tired. Yeah. 75.7. What are you What? Should we get any guys in here? Are you organizer? So this was Peter Oliver's room. You know, I was sitting here all chill right now. Yeah, I've been right, right here. That's what I walked in, I did. Right here, they And this thing's fluctuating. This is fluctuating. Peter, I'm an hour. Peter, are you here? And I guess later on this was Earl's room. Earl, are you here? Is Earl or Peter with us tonight? So I'm going to see what I can pick up on that. Hello? 
So we're going to go check out the barn. I guess it's a part of the uh, underground railroad tunnel. I guess it goes from the basement all the way to this barn over here. And this is where we heard the whistling sound. Yes, yes. Yeah. No Dominic, way. I'm going to play this for you. You can hear right. somebody whistling. Then we'll rewind it back. What? Hear that strange whistling? No way. This is a barn, right? Yeah, this is the barn. No, so I wonder if someone felt as if they were working and that's why they were whistling in here. Yeah, it could have been, yeah. Probably in, uh, going through the tunnel or it could be something like that, you know? Yeah. Where is the tunnel? I guess it's underneath the floor, but I heard it caved in. Yeah, two years ago, it wasn't snowing. Tight, tight squeeze. Tight squeeze? It's a very tight squeeze. Are you guys hiding in the tunnels? You can come out now. You know you can pass on to the other side, right? You guys can come out now. You have mad hidden areas. Can you tell us your names? You guys don't have to hide anymore, you can come out. They left. Yeah. You're safe. Can you pass through the green? Can you come out and shake our hands? Can you touch that device? Or can you tap one of us on our shoulders? Are you scared? I'm sorry you were a, a slave. It was wrong what they did. You shouldn't have had to hide in fear. Well, I'm here to harm you. Yeah, I'm here to you. But those days are over now. You move on with your life now. Temperature just dropped. Did you just go in there and make that go off? Maybe you feel more comfortable talking to a female. Will you answer her questions? Do you not like us walking around down here in your space? the slaves.
So this is part of the tunnel? Yeah. yeah. Oh. So where do you want to be in with us? You can come out now. <laughs> How did you have to do it? I said, we're not here to hurt you. We just want to find out why you're still here. We just want to talk. Do you hum and sing a song? Oh, I, let's see if I can play a song from that time. Would you like to hear a tune? Alright, so this was the number one song that came up when I typed in Escape Slavery Music. But we haven't had. We need to skip the ad. Uh, sorry, that's our technology these yeah. days. <laughs> Sing along. Were you abused? Are you angry that we're here? We really, really, really want to talk to you. We really don't mean you any harm. We're sorry for the injustice that you had. It's very sad. I would like to know if you're resting in peace. We want to tell your story. Who's here with us? Please tell us your name. I heard that. I couldn't make it up though. Say your name again. Are you a male or female? You sounded like a woman. We really, really want to talk to you. See that? So there's a string there with a pulley system. I see the string, yeah. And then they would literally just lower this board, it would come down, and it would look like somebody was just walking into a pantry. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, all right. Yeah. 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 That's the stairs. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. So all of this was in seals. Yeah. So you're going to do on a Saturday night with So this is the rope. Pull it, and this whole thing will come down. Right? And this guy right here is going to talk about you in 50. Yeah, so I, I would love to crawl in there, but my body won't Yeah, I would want to get out. Um, no, we had, um, the cameras have been running all this time. Yeah. And, uh, did an EVP session a little while back, so I don't know if we'll get anything from that. I had the K2 on the bed, but nothing happened with that, so. James or Abby, can you push the toy boat? We're not going to hurt you. We just want to see you. That's Dominic. And I'm Harry. So from the grid to the wall, it's 78 inches, and the wall is currently 72 degrees. Can you have a seat? Look, my buddy's having a seat. Yes, sir, me, bro. Maybe you can have a seat. Is that thunder? It's the wind. That's the wind? Yeah. Here? Yeah, it's 
loud. Are you scared of the loud wind? You don't have to be. If I roll this ball across the room, will you roll it back? Well, the floor is not level. Can you kick it back towards me? Did your family call you Abby? You know, Nicole has a sister named Abby. Let's play. Can you move that ball? I'm going. Abby, I'm gonna give you another chance to talk to us. That's the wind. That's a wind. Yeah, just bro. Look, we're playing. Us. Uh, Joe. Uh, Joe. Joe. Yeah. Who's that? Who's Joe? There's no Joe here. Joe. There's a June, a Dom, a Harry, a Seneca. No Joe. Come play with us. We're going to throw the ball and you knock it away from one of us. Come on. Sorry, I thought we could help. <laughs> all right. I guess you're all done talking to us, huh? Are you still here with us? Yes. Is this still Abby? Is this still Abby? Hi, Abby. Go straight, please. Come on. Don't leave. I won't leave. I want to talk to you. Are you stuck here? Go straight, please. Is it true that if you die in a house, you're stuck there? No. Speak. I am speaking. Are you trying to speak to me? Okay, let's do it, girl. Talk to me. Are you scared? Is there a white light that you see? Brittany. I don't know who Brittany is, honey. So. I feel like your question's out of no. Talk to us through here. Or make that blue thing go off. Do you want us to leave? Do you want us to leave Dom here? I don't know who Brittany is, honey. I literally don't know a single Brittany. All right, we're leaving. Bye. Thank you. So I'm gonna leave the camera rolling in here, in the EMF meter, right here on this toy pipe chair. <laughs>
So me and Dominic just entered Abby's room and the meter went off again. Oh, it's fluctuating. Towards Dominic. You know what? I'm gonna bring one of the balls in this room. So we're gonna see if she'll play with the ball in her room. Abby, I brought a ball for you to play with. the ball back towards me. Come on, Abby, kick the ball back. I just like the pretty, I think, to help do them. Abby, did your mother read you that book? For Crater, Sancer, as a, as a reader. Did your mother used to read you a bedtime story in this room? Against this wall right here. Pretty good. Yep. Abby, how old were you? Abby, are these your dolls? Can you tell us the name of your dolls? It's a pretty doll. What's her name? Mommy give you those dolls? Those are baby dolls. Yeah. What's inside that? I thought it was broken. We just go on. Is that ball you just met? We're sorry, we'll close the drawer for you. Put it there, okay? You want to play ball? We're going to put the ball in the chair. You make it roll off. You're close by. Can I read you a story? For my grandmother, this lovely flower fell to seed. Work gently sun and rain. She held it as her dying creed that she would grow again. I feel maybe she's connected to this book. Dominic has your favorite book. You want to have a seat next to him? Are we in a story? Let him know. This is a device right there. It's the pretty blue device. Okay, we're going to leave and give you your privacy.
So I'm gonna walk through the whole upstairs of this house with the thermal camera. And guys, it's kind of dark. It's very hard for me to see. And it's just me and Dominic up here on the second level. Yeah, it's very hard to see. I'm back in the playroom. back in Abby's room. I'll see what I picked up on camera. Okay, the Oliver House is very historical with the underground slave tunnel and with the story of Governor Thomas Hutchinson who was on the side of England he wanted to take away the rights within the colonies. He even wrote letters to England for an abridgment of English liberties in America. And that's when a maid had found the letters in the upstairs closet, giving them to Benjamin Franklin, who then exposed the governor. However, though, the Sons of Liberty chased away the Hutchinson family, forcing them to move to Canada, where they lived for the remainder of their lives, never to return back to the United States, not even to visit. So I don't believe that the house is haunted by their presence. So who is responsible for all these paranormal happenings? Well, you gotta figure. Abigail Sproul passed away at the age of two when a kettle filled with boiling water had fell and scolded her, so she might not be able to move on. She might be connected to the house still with all her toys remaining inside. I mean, we did investigate a similar situation like this before in the past, and there was a lot of action in Abby's room. That meter went off not once, not twice, but a total of four times. No way, dude. So me and Dominic just entered Abby's room, and the meter went off again. I thought the meter was open. The meter's going off. And we did get an active response that sounds like a young girl on the spirit box. Abby, did your mother read you that book? For crater, songs are other, other readers. Now, Abby's brother James Sprout passed away later on at the age of five from pneumonia. However, though, we don't believe that the presence of James Sprout is frequently active. He might be there visiting his sister. There has been reports of the sounds of children running around coming from the playroom. So that right there eliminates any kind of residual type of hauntings. And there was a voice that came through on the spirit box that was very clear that did sound like a young boy. Can you tell me how old you are? And we did ask Abby if her bed was up against one of the walls, and someone did reply back saying, yes. However, though, it didn't sound like a young girl. So honestly, it could have been the voice of her mother, Bethania Sprout. Abby, is your bed up against this wall right here? Very good. Yep. Okay, so this is interesting. We picked up several voices that came through on the spirit box that kept saying, roof. Someone even said, who was on the roof, and I'm not really sure why. However, though, both Seneca and Jen thought that they overheard the tour guide saying something about a fire in the attic a couple years ago, but they weren't really sure when. So I thought that was very interesting. Which one? Abby, did your mother read you that book? Now, it was reported that there was a shadow figure of a young girl standing in that same closet where the letters were stashed. And the tour guide did snap a picture of a shadow figure in one of the rooms downstairs. Oh, there's a shadow right there. Yep. And no one else was here? Nobody, well, there was people in the house, but not in, but not in, the, not in the old wow. kitchen. Now this figure could be something paranormal. However though, because there was other people in the house at the time, you kind of have to dismiss that fairy. I mean, there could have been someone standing in the next room over that she didn't know about who casted their shadow into the room where the picture was taken. But if I'm wrong, it does make a nice conversation piece. 
So there's been reports of objects being thrown, the tablecloth was even pulled out, causing all the waivers to fly around everywhere, and honestly, I doubt little Abby is behind all this. So we believe that Bethany Sprout is still present in the house, and this is her way of saying that she simply doesn't want all these people in her home. My husband and I were here probably about 1 o'clock setting everything up. This tablecloth was just like this. The tablecloth fell down, the waiver fell down, the pen fell down. So you gotta take into consideration, Bethany Sprout was born in the house, she was raised in the house, and she died in the house. So it's safe to say, it's her house. She doesn't want any visitors. Her children suffered from tragedies, and just like any mother should, she wants her children to be at peace.